setting up locations in QuickBooks Online. First thing you need to do is just make sure that under your accounts and settings, advanced, that your locations are turned on. What we're actually looking here today is job costing for projects and jobs for the construction industry. So make sure your locations are turned on to start off with. The next step that you're going to do is actually start uh, setting up your locations and you do that by the uh, admin wheel or the cog wheel under all lists, under locations. Let's start setting up a new job. So let's click on new. And this one we're just going to call it job job 01 and save. That's all you need to do. Then we're going to have another one called job 02 and save. What we have already at the moment, so it actually uh, mirror images our client's name, is under customers. I already have job 01 and job 02 set up as it is uh, a job under the uh, builder that we work for called Piers Brosnan Building Corporation. So what actually happens is when you set up or when you pro, pro, uh, process an invoice, what you'll be doing is yes, you'll actually pick up uh, job 01 and under location, it'll be job 01. That's all you need to do. Uh, of course, you'll be choosing your product or service, whether it's residential renovations or services. So let's click save and close. So I've got a couple of invoices set up already. So let's just go through these. Uh, this one here is uh, job uh, variation 01 actually, but we're going to put that location to job 01. So I'm not going to show my variations. Save and close. Let's have a look at another invoice. And that's job 01 and our location is job 01. Save and close. I think I've got one more invoice set up. Uh, could be this one, I think. And yeah, let's change it to job 02 this time. And our location here is job 02. So what I've done here is I'm mirror imaging the actual sub customer. This is a sub customer under our builder that we work for called P Piers Brosnan Building Corporation. Then the location is job 02 and save and close. So if I actually run, so we've got a double fold report that we could run. So under reports, under profit and loss by, sorry, I'm in the wrong one. Let's go back, what reports, profit and loss by location. I've got the last month, of, which is July. So you can see that job 01, I've got um, these two invoices and job 02, I've got these two invoices. So this is profit and loss by location. Now the other, uh, report that you can run. Like I said, we've got a double up of uh, reports that you can run, and that's by customer. So as you can see, we do have Johnny Depp, Piers Brosnan Corporation, then we have Job01. We have the variation because we've got $6,500 there. So let's have a look at that one. So, yep, because we chose the customer variation 001, the sub customer, but the location I actually had done the Job01. Okay, so that's where your sub customer report will be a little bit different uh, as opposed to your location. And let's go save and close. And let's go back. So there are two reports that you can run to see your actual invoicing. Now, what we're trying to do is get uh, payroll into the uh, job costing as well. And what I have at the moment is a time, uh, a timesheet link. Uh, from uh, that I've uh, invited in our employee called Buddy Cavalier into our file and all he does is he's going to click on weekly timesheet and let's just choose the first week in July so it's the 2nd of July to the 8th of July this is where you're going to choose the customer your employee is going to choose the customer name so in this particular case <clears throat> Um, let's have a look. Just a moment. I need to refresh this screen, I think. And it's not coming across. So I'm just going to stop here and I'll start a new video shortly 
and pick up the weekly timesheet because it hasn't actually come across with the new jobs that I've just done. So uh, the next one will be video two.